Hey, bud. What you do? Nothing. What you up to, Cletus? Uh, hunting. Hunt, hunting what? Retirees? Nah, just stuff. Windows, antenna, tires, vermin. Ah, so that was you. Tis the season for it. I don't give a shit about no season. <laughs> oh, good, huh? Don't let the regulations get you down. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey, hey. You want to come hunting with me? It'd be real neighborly of you. Hell, why not? All right, then. Up here with you. I got just a thing. Let's raise some hell, neighbor. Oh, I'm in. I'll introduce you to one of my all-time favorite pastimes. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Okay, you see them three big satellite dishes? A decent shot, and they'll go down easier than a whore's drawers. You're a real pillar of the community. Half the folks in this town would sell their own mother, and most of the other half already did. Screw them. No more reality TV for you, Mrs. Gilbert. Okay, one more for the road. Yeah, that's it. Give him hell. Shoot another one. Boom! <laughs> Didn't I tell you this would be more fun than a barrel full of pussies? Ooh, you're a classy date, Cletus. No denying that. <laughs> now drive us up to that abandoned motel. I got an even better idea. What now? We gonna try our luck on something less stationary. Ooh, liberals? Nothing as slippery as that. You'll see. Well, we'll take your vehicle then. You've got way too much time on your hands. Nah, this is just a bit of foolery. I've been busier than hell with the real hunting. The money and wild organic meat these days, you wouldn't pull it. I could maybe use another pair of hands if I can get you up to snuff with that rifle. You keep on criticizing my shooting, you'll be starring in a snuff with that rifle. Be lucky if we make it there today on foot. Here we are. I bet you never shut out the tires on a car before? Oh, you'd be surprised. Well, let's see what you got then. Ain't you gonna shoot anything, Cletus? Nah, I do this all the time, and I want to see how you deal with a moving target. This is perfect, right here. Pick a car and shoot a tire. Good, plain, old-fashioned fun. It's for crack. What? Nice! Go on, one more, just for the hell of it. That's it, beauty! And again, Trevor. Gotta show them sometimes you ain't a slave to the system. Shit for brains. Pop the tires is much more fun. Man, not too bad, Trevor. Right, let's change it up. Come on, follow me. Just two fellers killing time in small town America. Don't get much better than this, does it? The two most popular guys in town. Am I glad I ran into you? Ain't nowhere near this fun being antisocial on your own. Whatever cranks your tractor, I say. What's up next on the hillbilly anarchist agenda? Ever shot anything with a face? Just Actually, let me ask it again. Ever shot anything with a face on four legs? Now, Cletus, it's important you realize I'm a man plagued by vicious rumors. Fine. Let's head for the roof. I seen some coyotes hanging around down by the road. Reckon it would be real neighborly of us to get rid of a couple. And we are nothing if not neighborly. We'll get a better shot from up here. All right, 
I see him. Looks like we got two packs of coyotes down there. Take a few of them out, and the rest should scatter. <laughs> Sing to me now, song dog, and another. Hellfire! That should do it. Nicely done. I reckon you should tag along next time I go hunting out at Polito Bay. I'll show you how to bag an elk. Ah, uh, why not? All right, gotta go. I'll send you a text when I'm about. Strength! Hey, does excuse me come with that? Telltale signs. Smell any funny spices? Я ничего не вижу, босс. Эй, передави документы. What? Паспорт давай, ебать, мам. I don't fucking understand you. А, да ты по-английски не шаришь? Что за хуйня с тобой? Я говорю, паспорт покажи. Все вы нелегалы как один. Ты по гражданским арестам, ты понял? Америка страна возможностей, а я воспользуюсь возможностью послать тебя обратно через границу, откуда ты приперся. What? <laughs> Very good, Joseph. Real fine. We'll make a civilian protector of our nation's borders from undesirable elements of you yet. Sorry, citizen. Just a training exercise. Ah, okay. Well, I'm so glad that you patriots are out here defending this fine American desert sand. Well, thank you. When you could be in town fucking some girls and further destroying the gene pool. Hey. There's a real problem here. Да, люди мотивированы необходимостью прокормить свои семьи, едут сюда работать по черному за копейки и прут, прут в эту страну. It's a disaster, and that's why we form the Civil Border Patrol. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! My Patriot meter is going off. Huh? <laughs> come on, both of you. We've got some illegals over them hills. Ah. Come on, come on, you drive. Ah, you drive, let's go. Drive, get in the back. Meshkin uh, up and... What's your name, citizen? I'm Joe, that there's Joseph. Trevor. Okay, Trevor. Well, it's saying we need to head for the Yellow Jack Inn. Oh, good. They love me in there. I'm definitely getting a strong reading. The Patriot Meter predicts undesirables with up to 79% accuracy. <laughs> Surely this is a sick joke. I mean, I love hanging with freaks, but you two losers cannot be for real. Unfortunately, this is as real as it gets. These people are criminals who threaten our way of life and drive down our property prices. And you думаю, что могут приехать сюда в поисках лучшей жизни для себя и своей семьи? Это противоречит конституции. Come one, come all, I say. This country's got bigger problems to deal with. 
Well, that's because you've been brainwashed by the secular media. Don't you worry, though. We'll convert you. My brother showed some, uh, well, let's just call it sexual weakness in his younger days. Well, they must be inside. Go see if you can flush them out, Trevor. Is there any place in the world I'd rather be than drunk as a skunk at the Alamo Sea? Oh, this is pointless. Everyone in here has done something illegal. Hey, Trevor, get out here now! They're in that car! Let's go! Come on, Trevor! Go! Go! Let, let's bring him in, boys! Here, take the stun gun! Really? Nobody needs to die here. We're civilized people. Can you believe they're singing? It's like they don't even care! You can keep your socialist ballot to revolution and discontent to yourself! Hold on to your pointed hat! We're taking the scenic route! They're a law unto themselves! Sounds like they're having a lot more fun in their car. Go look at them, drunk out of their minds, on Uncle Sam's dime. The население of the country is the destruction of the whole population. It's not American. Hey, I, I ain't being zealous about this. America is for Americans, and that's why they call it, yeah, you know, America! Yeah, apart from young Joseph here. А я единственный, кто думает, что этот идиот звучит как канадец. Yeah, that's right, what he said. At least Joseph here wants to be Americanized. You don't see him dressed up like some little sissy bullfighter now, do you? No! You might want to tell him not to salute with a straight arm. Now, now's our chance! Don't subdue those illegals, Trevor. I want to see how you handle that stun gun. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that, pal. Don't apologize to them. They're the ones breaking the law here. Oh, very nice, Trevor. Respectful, but firm. We can handle it from here. Get in the vehicle. You've had your fun. It's time to go home. Okay, okay. I do what you say. Chance up in the hole. <laughs> we'll soon sober you up. Chicos, gringos locos. Well, thanks for the help, citizen. America's a little bit safer because of you! Democratia, Zakaralla is Tranu.
You're never gonna win that, little guy. What can the best mechanic in LS do for you? the road! what you say shut your mouth shut it shut just keep it shut oh, 
You know full well exactly what you didn't say. It's no good. Well, you can be surrounded by your young girls and your threesomes and your parties, and you will be miserable. You could have had it all with me. A beige condo, matching woolen sweaters, walks on the beach, a little dog we lavish too much attention on because I'm too scared of getting fat to get pregnant. Everything. Well, fuck you. And I don't care that we just met last week, all right? Just stop looking at me. Don't look at me. Say something! Oh, I wish you were dead, I really do. Mm. Ah. Oh, I love you! Oh, let me take you away from all of this! You mm. psycho! He was gonna impregnate my ex by a surrogate! Me? Me the psycho? No, you are the craziest fucking chick I've ever met! I love you! You're thin! You're irrationally angry! Nothing you say makes any sense! You are... Completely have no control of your emotions. We have nothing in common. Oh, baby, we're made for each other. Prove it on the bike now. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, baby, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I got you. Mm, I got you. You are just perfect, crazy cakes. this. Shut up! Don't talk to me! I defended your honor! I took out the alpha male! Evolution demands that we rut like beasts! Oh, God! Burying the misogynistic law of the jungle bullshit! What are you doing?! Of all the angry revenge sex. I am not having sex with you. Get that through your thick head. Okay, you jack me off into a cop, slap me around. We got up. Baby, woo! I win. Come on. Come on, what? Sex reward. That's how this works. You're deluded. Spread your genome in a gym sock. Oh, fuck! I love you. Hold me. Dear, walking spot.
I just waxed this puppy! Hello there. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, think. Nice house, isn't it? You like it? I'm selling it. You want to buy it? I'm downsizing. No, no, I'm good. I used to sell houses like this all the time, okay? I sold dreams. I made lives meaningful. I'm not sure about that. How oh, about you like? You like beautiful things, though, don't you? Sure. Well, I just happen to know the most beautiful woman. You want a bouncy bounty. Josh. Josh Bernstein. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the Josh Bernstein. Yeah, I never heard of you. Oh, well, I used to be a big deal once in real estate, and so I had my license taken away. My meal ticket. Where's the chick? I'll get to that. I'll get to that. See, it's not really, it's not really money that I'm after here. It's just it's a little something more awkward than that. Now, Lenny Avery. <laughs> he he was my best friend, and now he has taken all of my clients, all of them. Do you think that you could take out all of his for sale signs? That was easy. She's worth it, man. I love you. I love you. I love you. Lenny Avery.
do not want your hep C. That was close! Can I get a signature, sir? For what? <laughs> the most important fight of all. Poverty, hmm? No, another most important fight. The AIDS. No, 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 another one. Animal welfare. Legalization. Here, sign. Shit, where's my pen? Where's my pen? Legalization of what? Of things the Founding Fathers took as a right to consume medicinal plants. Legalize smoke? Yeah. You fucking kidding me? I make a shitload of money selling that, all right? The last thing I can handle is legalization. Now, fuck off! Take a drag. No, I don't, I don't, I don't smoke it anymore. It interferes with the speed. No, it's really good weed. All right, give it here. Yeah. It's a real mellow contemplative, huh? 
that comes from the Earth. <laughs> Those clowns over there. I'm turning into a lightweight. What the fuck is happening? Can you fit in the van? This is a joke with no punchline. Finally flipped! This is it! Stick to math. Oh, 
funny, don't you? I'm going through to the other side! Come on! You're scaring the kids now! Spoke too soon. Head spin, not good. And I suppose that's why they want to keep us suppressed. <laughs> Gosh, it's been really interesting talking to you. What the fuck was that, huh? It was horrible. Well, think about what I said. Oh, oh, by the way, that's entirely your fault. He's making such a fuss, these celebs. Oh, they're not like you or me. Ah! Ah, apart from you, Jock. <laughs> Would you go and get him one of his favorite pizzas? No. Well, then I don't know what to do with him. I mean, he hasn't eaten for a few days. You've kidnapped a major movie star, okay? Now, you can either leave him somewhere and hope he's been sufficiently scared shitless to stay quiet, or you can send him on the kind of trip he won't come back from. Oh, a trip! Such fun! Oh dear, oh dear, what a palaver this is! Decisions, decisions! If you could just handle this, Jock... Mm. Al is in the boot of the car. You'd be doing us such a favor! I'm really not one for goodbye. I think I broke my nose!
Who are you? I'm the man getting you from A to B. Uh, a being the trunk of this car and B being a horrific scenario of my choosing. Oh God, please, no! I, I, I have money on me, lots of money. Good to know, well, good to know. I'll be sure to grab that after we're done. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Please, let me go. I thought you were a big, tough action movie guy. See, you can act! Don't listen to all those movie critics! Are those crazy old bricks with you? Just me and you, honey bun! Did you have fun with those two? They're harmless, aren't they? They are not harmless! Those fucked up parlor games! The things that woman may be due to her feet! Ah, you lucky boy! Older women are to be cherished! Like a fine cheese! Sometimes the rind is the best bit! What do you want? Cars? Drugs? What about art? I, I got shit loads of art. I said, no, you wouldn't want that. Fuck! You barely know me, Al, and you're already judging my cultural standing. I find that very offensive. Other than a cheeseburger, a cold beer, and you shutting the hell up, I'm all good. Whatever they're paying you, I'll double it. They're not paying me anything. And why are you doing this? Well, one, I'm a bad person. Two, I understand that love takes many forms. And three, most importantly, you've seen all our faces. I've made the mistake of not tying up loose ends once before. Well, here we are, Al. Curtains up. It's time for your final scene! Stop! What are you doing? No! Jock, we've been worried sick! I regret to report the sad passing of Mr. L. Dinopoli. Train accident. Very sudden. I loved that man. We will remember him always. The way he was on TV. Before we met him. Not that any of us met him, of course. You two enjoy the rest of your vacation. We gotta get out of here. Holy shit! I can't believe it. Oh, left lane. You ass! Uh, how did you not see me?
Lucky miss! This car's gonna be parked outside your house!
There you are, Trevor. Ah, oh, but ain't my favorite marksman, huh? How are you, Cletus? Fine and dandy, sir. You ready to hunt some elk? Ah, uh, beat satellite dishes. <laughs> Lead the way. Oh, here you go. Now, uh, put this in your mouth. A bad day hunting still beats a good day working, my pa always used to say. What is this thing in my mouth? And why do I have the feeling I'm not the first person to use it? I'll explain that in a while. Let's start with the basics for now. Elk senses are razor sharp. If they see you or hear you, you'll spook them. And they'll bolt. You gotta move slowly and quietly and keep that aside. But an elk's nose is as big as defense. When you're tracking elk, you always need to watch the wind direction. If you don't stay downwind of them, they'll pick up your scent and be gone before you can say boo. Especially with that distinctive, uh, musk of yours. I'm calling pot and kettle on that, my friend. All right, this is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. Go on, put him down. Very nice. All right, stick with me. I'll lead us further in. Keep quiet and stay close. I ain't seen much else or nothing else out here. Oh, we're gonna have to see if we can coax one into the open. That's where that thing you've been chewing on comes in. Ah, yes. Please enlighten me. It tastes like old person. That's a diaphragm. Mm-hmm. An elk whistle for you and me. All right, give it a good blow. See if we can get any nearby elk to holler back. Sounds like someone strangling a clarinet player, and I talk from experience. Shh, listen. Okay, you hear that? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go get him. You got him. Pull the trigger. Heart shot like a true professional. Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. 
Now, remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the mail. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. Okay, this is good. Same as before. Nice and steady. Lay him in the shade. You got this now, Trevor. Uh, you're on your own for the next one. Tell you what, I got an idea how we can go in on this together. Text me a pic of your next kill, and we'll talk business. Ah, I gotta go. Uh, good luck. I'll holler at you in a while. Got the photo. Another nice kill. So this is what I'm thinking. All this demand for wild-raised meat with them city folks right now? If we divide and conquer, I reckon we could make ourselves a tidy little sideline. Text me a photo of your quarry. I'll let you know what it's worth. And come by to pick it up soon as I can. I like my meat with some age on it anyways. Uh, what do you say? Yeah, I say we'll see. I got a few other irons in the fire at the moment. All right, well, the offer's there, and you can keep that elk collar. Was my grandma's before she passed. Uh, be hearing from you.
Yeah, you put him up! Oh, it's you! What are you idiots up to, huh? We're going to protect America. It's the purpose of the world. It's a great country that can solve genocide and call it Volley of God! The fellow can't speak two words of English, but he knows this is the best country. Jesus! Hey, hey, what's that? The illegals ruining the place. Come on, come on, let's go. Let's, let's go. Get in. Get in. Rachen. You still got that stud gun? Oh, good man. Always prepared. Oh. Oh, the depths I'll troll for 500 bucks. You two are completely loco. If you'll forgive my use of Spanish, you do know what that means, right? You spout all this hippie nonsense, but I know you're a patriot, Trevor. I can just tell by looking at you. We had our eye on this fella for a while. Illegal farming, bartering of goods, deep into a shadow economy. Ooh, sounds like a real menace. So, what happens to these criminals after you apprehend them? Well, we do our civic duty and hand them over to the authorities. Okay, get me a clothes so I can incapacitate him humanely. <laughs> Adios, amigo! Hey, Civil Border Patrol, keep your hands where I can see them. This is a citizen's arrest! Not you lunatics again! You could have killed me! Get in a vehicle now, sir! Dvigai, Dvigai! Okay, okay! Good work, boys. <laughs> now head for the cement factory. We got reports of more illegals working over there. Where are you taking me? This is a kidnapping. This is time for you to go home to Mexico, sir. What are you talking about? This is my home. I have my papers right here. Oh, yeah? Well, let me see that. Oops. Is Rook Viscachili? You won't get away with this. I report you. <laughs> you want to report me? <laughs> Are you sure this old man's a threat to American freedom? There, there on the bike. Step on it, Trevor. Well, now that's an admission of guilt if I ever saw one. Probably cartel members or child molesters. Haven't you got anything better to do? What, than protect our country? No. We're just stepping in where the government has failed. I'm a big supporter of President Lawton, but he's gone soft on the key issues. Everyone's so damn worried about the Hispanic vote these days. I voted for Lawton, you freak. Civil Border Patrol, run and I'll put you down again. You understand me? They are arrested for crimes against democracy. What? Go car, go now. Okay. Jesus. Двигай, или я тебя заставлю двигаться. Go, go, fucker, go. Take it easy. I'm going. I'm going. Okay, you okay. Let's go, buddy. You come up with us. Yeah, yeah, on the lay, on the lay. Come on, move. In the vehicle now. I said move or I will zap you again. I'm getting in, okay? Crazy assholes. Civil Border Patrol, run and I'll put you down again. You understand me? Well, good work, everyone. Thanks for the help, Trevor. You're a fine patriot. We'll take it from here. So 
I just get left here? We made Uncle Sam proud today.
all be fine. <laughs>